Hi everybody, welcome to Exeter on a Saturday evening. Uh, it's uh, just outside, so you, one of my wife's best friends, just got, she's just gone for a walk. We've been here because we've been celebrating my dad's 90th birthday. Um, just a fabulous cake that Tracy did to us. Bless you, Tracy, he absolutely loved it. Um, we've had a Zoom call which completely blew his mind. It's the first time he's done Zoom. Um, so I'm able to speak to my sister in Australia. And uh, he's just had a lovely little sentence there about, you know, heaven and he's got his hopes for heaven. And he doesn't say a lot, but he just showed us a little book which he bought his wife when they first got married. And he wrote a sonnet in the back of it. Sweet. That's, that's just been great. And, and it's what reminded me is one of our values as Faithworks is about valuing people. And it's easy to value your dad, isn't it? But actually, you guys do a great job in valuing people in lots of different ways. Stay Safe starts today or started today in terms of valuing people enough to spend some time with them and just build community and help them on their journey away from rough sleeping. Um, the food banks, you guys are starting under this new uh, lockdown regime, providing parcels for those who are clinically extremely vulnerable or whatever the new phrase is. And right across the board of our, uh, the smile guys are starting to cook bags again and just being really inventive in, in sort of the things that may be possible for Christmas. Uh, you are great at that value. So hold on to one of those values. It's the P in H-O-P-E, valuing people uh, and works really well. Just uh, by the by, uh, in, under this lockdown thing, we just had lots of information last week around community resilience and what's available within the BCP area. You've got the, the phone number again, 0300 123 7052. I'll put that into the email that I send round. Just to remind if anybody is concerned about things during this lockdown period, they can call that. Um, and it, and it occurred to us that we need to get our staff zone. You know, on the website, we've got this little past pro protected area where we can put lots of information in there. Uh, the project leaders and I were talking about the fact last week that we want to get that up to date, ready for Christmas. You know, what's going to be open? When's it going to be open? What do we need? What do we not need um, in terms of the, the bits and bobs? So uh, I know um, that uh, David and team were talking about last week's toiletries and underwear would be great. We really don't want other clothes. We're trying to centralize that away from away from faith work. So we'll put all that into the notes you know, so that you've got that clear. Um, but it also made me think about our resilience. And we were talking last week again as project leaders that uh, as we get towards a new HR system, we're going to be able to sort out our annual leave. Quite a few of you, I think, haven't taken all your, well, anything like the amount of annual leave you could have done. Um, just have a think about when you can take leave. Uh, we particularly want to know at Christmas. So please, please, please be in contact with your project leader to, uh, if you've got that clear yet, or if you can give them an indication of what you're thinking about. And it just says it's, it's okay to take some time. Uh, all of us need a bit of a, a rest in the, the midst of what we're doing. You are amazing in terms of your ability to keep going, but it's okay to take time. Um, uh, one of the things we do want to say is, is Ian Bromlow is taking some time now uh, to step back from FaithWorks. You remember, he's been our chair uh, over the last five years, and we're really keen to get a card together. So again, I'm going to ask you just if you've got a comment or uh, a thank you that you want to send to Ian, send it over to me because I'll put that into a card and the trustees are sending some things to him as well to say thank you. We had our AGM yesterday on Friday, uh, which was the point where we're going to move forward. What we're going to do is split the chair's role for now. So Karen is going to chair our meetings. Uh, Richard's going to help me with uh, and Cliff with some of the operational stuff. Ben's going to help with some of the strategic stuff. And Neil's going to support me uh, in a chief exec role. So uh, we're going to split that role and then we're going to look out for more trustees to fill the space. Um, one thing we've just been talking to my dad about is uh, he's, he, he just got his little note through from his church and um, he was saying, Zephaniah, where's Zephaniah in the Bible? And it reminded me of that phrase, which is really good for all of us. Um, God delights over us with singing, it says at the end of Zephaniah. So maybe that's a good phrase for all of us this coming week. Just remember when it gets tough, God delights over us with singing. Have a good week. Keep valuing people because we value you a lot.